now we are going to see how to handle the null values either you can drop it or you can fill it so let me create a new notebook and i'll say that handling nulls handling nulls we create a new notebook in the python language only by default language as python yeah this is your notebook now let me give you a data set for the practice i'll be giving you the link for that so i have a data i'll copy it here now i have created a schema and i have a student's data and zoom yeah. now i'm creating a data frame spark.create data frame i am passing on the student's data and i'm passing the schema which i have created in the least format i am displaying the data frame and i am using a print schema for that use that and now you can see you got a data frame which has few null values in that you can see you have some null values here you have some null values here also so to handle null values we have a different function in pyspark so let me show you those function first for that let me go to spark.apache.org documentation and go to the latest release here then go to the programming guides go on python on spark and then you go for api reference here we are going to see some na functions so let me go inside this data frame and here we have some na functions this this comes under the na functions so uh, it is a part of PySpark SQL data frame drop na okay. so these are the functions of the na types of na functions na functions dot drop you can use data frame na functions dot drop or you can use drop na both are the same thing here so how many parameters it accepts it accepts three parameters but all three are optional you can see this all three are optional so it is act accepting like how how should be in the string and there you can write how in how you can write any or you can write all if you write any it drop a row if it contains any null values so wherever you have a null values that row will be dropped if you are using a parameter how and that is equal to any if you are using all then it will drop only it will drop the row which has only the null values about the row then second parameter is your threshold like thresh it is by default it is an optional but you can pass it on the integer so it drops the rows that have less than the thresh non null values we will see that in the hands on then if you want to apply the drop na function data frame function on a specific column then you can go subset okay so let me show you all the variations here now if you if you want the help here you can use help and just write data frame dot drop na and run this okay so you can either write uh, df dot drop na or na dot drop that also works and now you can see the parameters we got how thresh and subset we have just now seen the documented have the same thing you can either use f dot na dot drop also works you will get the same result because both are aliasing to each other you can see this data frame drop na or na dot drop are aliases to each other okay. so now i am not passing any parameter here i am not passing any parameter if i use drop na on this data frame let us see what happens let me do it here only so you can see the difference so i'm using a df that is the data frame what we have created here dot drop na and let me just run this and execute it see the results you need to take an action so take an action dot show and beautiful you can see that so you got only two rows because this row contains a null it was deleted this row contained a null that was deleted this row contained a null that row is deleted this also contained a row that is deleted so you got only john and david here okay john and david but i wanted to delete only the row which contains all null value let me show you the documentation so here you need to give how 
and you need to mention that all so all means it will drop a row only if all its values are null let me show you data frame dot drop na you can use na dot drop also and here i am going to specify how and specify all here okay? the same way how they are showing so how and write that in a string i have written in a string let me execute this equal to sign here need a equal to sign if i'm not now it has executed now let me use dot show remember here that is equal to not a colon there so now in only the last record you can last record which contains all the null here okay so this is how all works copy this and instead of all if i write any here any any and execute this now you can see you got the same value like how we have got wherever you find a null values like anywhere if you find null values that row will be deleted how the any works let us go to the next parameter that is uh, subset and thresh so we have subset and we have thresh thresh and subset let us go with the subset first so subset is an optional again and you can give a column name suppose my requirement is okay i have this data frame i want to drop only the null values wherever i have the attendance column as null so i want to apply that rule whatever i'm writing that rule only for the attendance column let me do it here only so yeah so let me write a subset here so i'm writing data frame dot na dot drop you can either use drop na or na dot drop here i am using subset equal to equal to you specify the column name you want to apply there let me use attendance column here and use dot show the results let me execute this yeah beautiful you can see so when you compare it with your original you have null values here null value here null value here null value here all these rows have been deleted you got only john and david john and david if i apply that subset rule that rule the next column that is maybe for the name column the students those who have a null values i want to delete that column if i run it here so you can see here you cannot find a null value inside a name column that row has been deleted but here you can see you got a null value here null value here null value here. there are like six students or five students in our class and these are the subjects and these are the marks and attendance this is how the subset works now let me show you how the threshold work or the thresh works so for that let me show you the documentation first thresh it gives it takes the parameter in integer and if specified it will drop the rows that have less than fresh non null values so less than non null values that will be that rows will be dropped let me show you data frame dot drop na then i'm passing on the thresh and i'll say equal to c okay before i run this let me use data frame dot show to show you the results yeah you can see this now i have used fresh as two let me take two so what will happen it will go and scan all the rows in this row we have only null value in this row so we have two null values so less than that threshold value non null values will be dropped okay so let me use dot show and execute you can see here so in this first row if the non null values there are four non null values so it will not drop here we have three non null values it will not drop here we have four non null values it will not drop here we have three non null values one two three, will not drop here you have two non null values so 
it will not drop because it works less than so in the last we have more like all the null so that is drop if i make this thresh to 3 and execute now you can see the output so here we have non null values 4 non null values 3 non null values 4 non null values 3 so there is not a single row which is having non null values greater than 3 or sorry less than 3 that has been so if i say 4 here 4 so these two rows will be deleted michael and kelvin michael and kelvin has been deleted because there we have non null values as only 3 we have given the thresh as 4 below that everything will be deleted now my next question is can i apply these parameters combined yeah definitely you can apply so let me show you now this is your data frame in the original condition now if i say okay, i want to apply how that is all all only for a particular column not for all the columns for example data frame dot drop na if i say drop na if i say all here let me use dot show it by default it will yeah, by default it will take how equal to all and you can see wherever you have all the null values that has been deleted but i want to apply this all only for a particular column that is maybe for the marks column for example so i can use a comma i can use a subset here and then i can put that in a list and say that i want to it all the columns like null values inside the column marks now you cannot see any null values inside marks column you can do the combination of all this so this is how the drop in a frame function works in PySpark. thank you guys thank you for watching keep learning